Well, we've had a few iffy games, but we've managed to have the last two wins against Oxford United and Wickham Wanderers. But there's some interesting news on the horizon. Get in there! Yes, we have had two wins. Oxford United, a 5-1 victory. We really did sort them out after they beat us in the Carabao Cup first round. Absolutely bonkers game of football. A loss to Middlesbrough and a draw against Swindon sort of upset the apple cart a little bit. But we are second in the division behind Reading, but they have got a game in hand, which would mean they would be a full four points clear now as you probably can see there's a load of inbox items first of all Fenners is delighted he is delighted we're back <sighs> yeah 30 quid we're 30 pounds over the stupid financial fair play thing come at you a man of the match again we've got a job interview now under any normal circumstances we would be going to look at this job because QPR, well, they're League One, so they're the same division as us at the moment. But normally we would look at this and go, OK, we will take the job interview. We would go and do it. We're obviously not going to. But it is quite interesting. This is what I mean about the interesting things on the horizon. The fact that we're now being touted for jobs like QPR. QPR, who are a two and a half star rated team we currently are a one and a half star rated team so myself as in the manager i am now a three and a half star rated reputation manager so that's great news so that should help us going forward what we have also seen going forward bowie has picked up player of the month Dominic, he was second. So we're going to give a little thank you there to Bowie. We also picked up Manager of the Month. Dominic and Camacho have got Young Player of the Month. So Camacho is in there as well. But Dominic gets it purely because of seven appearances, four goals, six assists. He has been on fire up front at the job interview. If we was to go for it, obviously... It would be a big step up because QPR, end of the day, yeah, they, they are a bigger team. You know, season ticket holders, 10,000. Our season ticket holders, nearly 2,000. So even though we've got a bigger stadium, it would be a massive, massive jump. We're declining, obviously. We're now going to go play Colchester. And the team to play against Colchester, yes, it's the FA Cup. Schmitz in goal. Smith, Wallach. Costa and Slater as your back four. In fact, no, I'm not going to play Slater today. We're going to bring McCallum back in. He's going to have a run, see what he can offer in there. Bullard and Winks as your midfield two. Bowie and Jones out on the wings. Curran and Cleary up top today. Slight little change. We'll see what that does against Colchester. Well, keep the run going, shall we? A couple of games. Smith's nervous. Why he's nervous, I don't know, but these things happen sometimes. Right, Paul Ince in charge of Colchester United. Right, come on, lads. Smith for Colchester, lumps it forward. Curran wins the ball. Bowie to Bullard. Clear he's miles off. He's miles offside. Luckily, it didn't go in anyway, but it just shows that he's got that movement still. He hasn't played a lot of football, but he's uh, he can do it. We know he can. Colchester. With a corner. Oh, my goodness me. Dio Jackson. No, not Jackson. Grayson. <laughs> I don't know. I know what is coming, though. Beration. What the hell are you doing, boys? Smith in goal. He's been moaning about not playing first team football. Obviously, we brought him in to be a first-team player. Mm, yeah, these things are sent to try sometimes. Winks. Bowie. Down the right-hand side. Bowie. 
gets to the byline, digs out the cross, Ricky J. Jones over the bar. Now that's the difference as well. Cleary being a full foot shorter, it's probably not ideal up front. And turning in a 6.5 where Dominic has been awesome. Same with Winks. Was Winks a bit of a, you know, one of those signings that we probably shouldn't have bothered with? I don't know. <laughs> Panic buy? No, I don't know. Costa to Schmidt. Schmidt dilly dallying on the ball. Lumps it forward. Cleary. Obviously, he thinks Dominic's up there. He's not. Ricky J. Jones gets back in there. Schmidt again on the ball. Again, just a bit of dilly dallying. Lumps it forward again. Why are you lumping it to Cleary? Antwi. On the ball for Colchester. It's a great ball in. And it's 2-0. <sighs> what on earth are we doing? What on earth are we doing? Shout of absolute beration. Sort it out. Half time coming. We're going to need a comeback of all comebacks here today. I know what is happening. Cleary's coming off. That's for sure. Not just angry, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Cleary's the scapegoat. There we go. Anyone else in there that's had a bit of a... Winks. Out you come, son. Out you come. There we go. Second half looming. Two changes made. Curran. Curran comes down this right-hand side. Goes back to Bullard. Bullard. To Williams. Williams. McCallum. McCallum digs out the cross. Bowie's there. Hits the post. At least we've started the half a bit more like it, I would say. Right, come on, lads. We need a better performance. We have to have a better performance. A shout of beration. That's not good enough. Come on. Changes. All five changes been made. Anson comes back into goal. Slater's on. And Camacho on as well. We've Jiggled it around a little bit and we'll see what happens with this. Advanced forward now for Ricky J. Jones. Completely changing it up. Right. Wallach. Wallach Wallop goes to Slater. Finds Williams. Williams turns into the box. No. <laughs> Not today, by the look of it. Not today. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Come on, boys. A shout. Fire up. Ricky J. Jones in. McCallum's in the middle. Smith. Hit one, boy. Hit one, boy. Hit the post again. Oh, my days. We are going to need something special. McCallum to Smith. In. Punches. Slater there. Camacho on a yellow card as well. Digs out across but McCallum. In deep. Bullard, penalty. Oh, it's not been given. Penalty's not been given. Bangora Williams in. Back to Smith. Smith down this right-hand side. Whips in the cross. Dominic's there. Oh, and that's onto the roof of the net. We're very attacking. We're trying everything here. Come on, lads. Smith to Bullard. Back to Smith. In. Camacho. Onto the roof of the net again. The FA Cup dream is over by the look of it this season. At the first round. <sighs> Not good. Not good. McCallum. Why is McCallum on the right? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But it'll do. Bullard. Slater. Bangora. Bangora! Ten minutes to play. Come on, boys! Oh my word, we've finally got a goal. Bangora Williams bashes one in from distance. Slater into Bangora, fully 25 yards out. What a finish, son. Yes, that's what we needed. Now, a demand more. Don't make this just one. Pull it back. Ricky J. Jones, Bullard, go on it one, son. Camacho hits the post again. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Surely. 26 shots to seven. Berate. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, we have been FM'd. 27 shots, nine on target. How many times have we hit the woodwork? Once. They got to sort it for FM25, haven't they? My goodness me, they got to sort it for FM25. Proud of your efforts. Well, unfortunately, the FA Cup run is over and Camacho's out for a week as well. Right, Wigan to come. This is a big one. We really do need to win this game of football to keep up with the chances of promotion because that's all we've got left now. Oh, and the Bristol Street Motors. Rubbish. And the team to play Wigan. Anson back in goal. No more experimenting. He stays in goal. Smith, Algefri comes in because we've now lost Wallach for two weeks. Costa and Slater back in at left back as well. Don't know whether that's the right call, but we're going to go with it anyway. Bullard and Williams back in midfield as the central two. Bowie and Camacho. They're the wrong way around. Dominic and Curran up top. We've also transfer listed. Where is he? Marcus Sheldon's been transfer listed and we've got an offer for Ollie Thomas. He had a little bit of a moan up. Once first team football, £135,000 from Torquay. Looks like Ollie Thomas is off as well now. Right, let's go and play. Right, go out there, relax, and the result will come. That's the way to do it here at the DW Stadium. Jake Campbell in charge of Wigan Athletic. Yeah, we just need to do a performance. Sam Tickle still in goal for Wigan. Look, unbelievable. Curran into Williams. These two lots of shirts are quite similar, aren't they? Apart from the white socks and white shorts. Tops are very similar indeed. Slater into Bowie. Bowie gets it under control. Pulls it back to Bullard. Bullard into the far post. Bangora Williams can't quite get there. Camacho can though. Camacho. Manu Camacho with his second goal of the season. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's not really set the world alight as Camacho. He's had man of the match performances. He's had lots of assists. But for goal return, not really been there. But today, he has turned it on. Gets one pass tickle. Yeah, that'll do. That will do nicely. Four minutes on the clock. 1-0 to the good. We are currently even on games now. Four points behind Reading. So we have got a bit of work to do. And we're going to have a blast over after eight minutes. Yeah. Reading, are they playing today? They are. Reading are winning. So, ooh, so if they draw, Port Vale, Port Vale, where are Port Vale? Port Vale are sixth. Come on, Port Vale, do us a favour today. <laughs> Miles Lieber and smashing goals in again as usual. Yeah. If Port Vale could do something for us, that would mean only a point gap. Be nice. That would be nice. It's going to have to go some to do that, first of all. Curran to Smith. Whips it in. Camacho. But it's Wigan coming away with the ball. Down this right-hand side. Oh, my goodness me. He's gone past Costa like he wasn't even there. Costa gets back in, though. But Smith there to cover. Dominic winning the ball. Now, that is a six-foot-five Poacher holding the ball up, getting involved. Bowie to Bullard, Camacho, pull it back to Bangor Williams, goes again. <sighs> Deflected behind. That was great breaking football. Come on, lads. Camacho now whips it in. Curran, he's at the post. If that doesn't go down as woodwork this time, <sighs> unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff sometimes here. Camacho whips it in. Tickle gets it away. Bullard back in. Alger free. Oh, it's just onto the roof of the net. That was close. Reading still 1-0. Still 1-0. Controlling it. Keep it going. That's the way to do it. They've made a change. Camaria. Camacho. What's happened to him? Alger free's been booked as well. Right, I think we might have to look at... Uh, some change in a minute. Dominic over the free kick. The big boy. Go on. Smash it top bins. He's telling he's telling him to do something. You're just going to hit it, surely. 
ho, 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 ho. It's only his eighth goal of the season. My word. But he does know where the back of the net is, that boy. Dominic. Through the wall. Oh, disaster for Wigan. Yeah, not good. Not good. Four changes made so far. Hammerhead. Winks, Cleary, Jones onto the pitch. One more change left to us. Why are we on a balanced mentality? Did I change that? I don't recall doing it, but I think we're going to go positive. I don't remember changing that. Current, we've got someone to come on. Yes, we have. Keller can come on for him. Of course, the old boy. We haven't played him for a little while. Positive football. We're going to praise them. We're going to praise the boys. Reading, where are you? Just a 1-0. Look, nothing nothing going on at all in that game. But we are four points behind Reading. We've got a better goal difference on Charlton to keep ourselves in second spot. Slater. To Jones. Slater. To Winks. Pulls it back. To Bullard. Hits the bar and over it goes. Now, I've seen two woodworks at least. How many does it say? Just just the two? Okay, we'll, we'll take it this time. Good win. Well done. Well, that's interesting. Old Hayden Kessler is about to give us 190 grand for making 50 appearances for Millwall. 50! And what a... Look at that range. 170 grand to 7 million pounds. That boy is bizarre, but he is churning out performances. 7.05 again for Kessler. Well, Camacho picks up man of the match. Didn't even finish the game, but we will go with it. We're going to go through a run a few, I think. Well, thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. It's been another great episode. Unfortunately, we're out the FA Cup. It's not too great there, but we are chasing hard on that potential championship football fc bullard you can't beat it see you next time out thank you very much goodbye <laughs>